are discovered.
glad to see you. Need to see what I'm carrying? I look forward to our next discussion. Never been one. Until our next talk. Samples secure. Nice work. Now, earlier scan picked up a valid Terramorph sample, but, well, it's in the spaceport. And the quick route there looks like it got blasted. under the city, which will allow us to access the spaceport. What do you... That... That's right! Kaiser, how did you know that? I... am not sure. Percival, you see any better option? Not from where I'm standing. We've got our answer. Access unlocked. We may proceed. Kaiser, this flora, this is Lazarus' plant, isn't it? Confirmed. You know, no one even realized it was a living thing until someone got it under a microscope and saw it had cells. It can't be cultivated anywhere but Londinian.
I always enjoy the I am happy to have May the serpent guard you. A credit for your thought? If there's anything you need. A shame that there is not more to discuss. What's that? My god, look at it. A Lazarus in bloom. You know, we might be some of the only. What's... What's happening? Heat leeches infest every settlement, every corner of the settled systems. That means that every single one... Oh, no. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then... With time, they transform. We... We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. That I don't have an answer for right now. But if they share a genome, like most nymphs and adults do, the microbe should have no problem dealing with heat leeches and terramorphs. The Asilis... we'll have to look into. But given what we know about the creatures, I mean, I wouldn't be shocked to find that they've got an appetite for both. No, Lazarus plants can't grow anywhere but here, let alone blossom. People have tried. Plus, if what we just witnessed was happening anywhere else, well, it wouldn't just be Londinian lost to these things. What we just saw, it, it must be some kind of alternate growth method. One that winnows 70 years of maturation into seconds. It's incredible. I am sincerely inclined to agree, but current evidence suggests nature manages it just fine. The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the Terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other, in an instant. But that means, if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a Terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city, or even multiple leeches, into a place like New Atlantis. Good God. The attack on New Atlantis, does this... Could someone have set that up? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it! We may proceed. Go!
Kaiser's got the cell data from the new Atlantis and Tau Ceti attacks, right? Uploading them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. Beginning analysis. It is a match. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. I wonder where they could have gotten such an idea, deploying alien life forms as weapons. I wouldn't be shocked to find out our team, in part, inspired the approach, but our group never dealt with something that could have an effect like this. Makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test, someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone bound away. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way.